Alright, the car broke down this past week. No, not the Explorer. The Honda Odyssey minivan back there that we bought new in 2007. Now, they always talk about how reliable Hondas are, and in the three years I've had this Ford Explorer that I paid $180 for, I've had like a third of the repairs that that Honda Odyssey's had. And on top of that, whenever I have to repair the Honda Odyssey, the parts are like at least twice as much. So, you know, call it what you will, I call it a miracle. Hey YouTube, it's uh, been a little while. I was waiting for it to rain so I could really give you a good picture of the interior of how how it really is at its worst when you're driving and the rain's dripping in and it just it hasn't rained and hadn't rained and so now it's finally raining it's a little dark outside but uh, I think uh, I'm gonna get you a good video in there and you can see what it looks like now last time I showed you the inside we had seat covers on the front seats because they were in such bad shape but I was uh, looking for some other seats because another thing was the driver's seat the forward and backwards is electronic a, a little motor ran it and it wasn't working and it was a good position for me but when Clarissa wanted to drive it she couldn't drive it because she couldn't reach the pedals so I found a guy that had rolled his Explorer and he was parting it out and so I bought all four seats and the two front seats fit in well and everything works on them and they're actually in pretty good shape the driver's side has a couple little rips in it uh, the back seat it was out of a four-door which I was hoping would fit because it has three seat belts and I only got two back there now and if we bring the whole family to Guatemala and they want to ride in the car everybody it wouldn't fit so I was hoping that would work that didn't really work out, but a buddy of mine is a pretty good welder. We took the seats out of the back and used the seatbelt brackets from the new seats that I got and welded those to the floor. And uh, I got a little clip of that if you want to see it. So we got those all welded up, did a little trimming out of the seats so that the seat belts could protrude through back there and now we're good to go with that. I got the, the seat with the motor that works so Clarissa can drive it now if she wants to. And they, they, look, they look great. I, I got the floor mats from them too. Those were in good shape. So, you know, this car that looked pretty beat up and nasty is... It actually looks pretty good, I think. If I could just get this roof uh, to stop leaking. So yeah, let's go. Uh, let's go take a look inside. All right, we finally got a rainy day, so I can show you the inside of my car when it rains. And yep, there's the drips. You can see it leaks over there. And it's also leaking over here. And I got a bucket to catch this side. And a bucket to catch that side. And then in the back, we got leaks back there too. And I got a bucket to catch those. And it seems like no matter how hard I try to patch this roof, since it's two layers, there's an inner layer and an outer layer that it just keeps seeming to come through. Instead of two seat belts now, I have seat belts for three back here so I could fit the whole family in. And let me show you some other stuff in the car. The cruise control does work. I use it all the time. I push that little button to start it. 
and then that button to set it and uh, I'll show you my fancy defroster this is my defroster since the uh, since the AC doesn't work there we go that's defrost oh yeah let's defrost these windows there we go oh yeah that works so yeah it's uh, pretty fun to drive in the rain when it gets all hot and uh, the windows get all fogged up I got my squeegee and uh, that's about it it used to be uh, pretty bad but let me show you this uh, driver's seat I got the seat cover off it too and it's really only got a couple rips. This is from that uh, car that rolled. I got these seats out of there. And I think I'm going to use uh, some piece of the old seat to maybe cover that center thing. So it's uh, looking pretty good with the floor mats and the everything. I just need to get this, uh, this roof patched. I don't know where it's coming in at. But one day I'll find it. So another thing that I did this week was I went to the Ford dealership. Now, I didn't really want to take this thing to the Ford dealership, but I was kind of scared of what they might say. It's like when people don't want to go to the doctor because they're afraid of what they might tell them's wrong with them. You know, I was scared to go to the Ford dealership, you know, didn't know what they would say. And I actually got a recall notice that said there was something in the cruise control that could cause the whole thing to go up in flames at any time. I got that, I got it in the mail two years ago and probably should have done it then, but, you know, didn't want to go to the dealership. Took my chances. So now I figured if I'm going to take the car on this long of a trip, I, I better get that fixed. Ain't going to be in no fire, not today! So I went and we got that fixed and I asked the mechanics, I said, you know, what do you think? Is it going to make it to Guatemala? And surprisingly enough, the guy said, you know, I, I asked all the mechanics, they said, we think it'll make it. They said, but be prepared to break down, you know, bring some hoses and some belts and some tools because it probably will break down is what they told me. So. I'll just have to be prepared when I go and, and hopefully it'll make for some good videos.